Welcome back. Um, now, imagine if you could invite your favourite Aussie actors over for a chat. You'd have Bruce Samazan, wouldn't you? I certainly would. <laughs> Who would be on your wish list? And what would you ask them? Our Nelson Aspen had a dream date with four of our biggest names and nothing was off limits. They're acting royalty. I crown thee, Elizabeth, Queen of England. I looked into your future and I saw death. And I lose my only daughter. Because you can't play the Joker whenever you want in a no Trump's hand. <laughs> Raise your hands very slowly. You sure you want me to do this? Raise your hands very slowly. Oscar winners and nominees. Stars in some of the biggest films of our time. Now they're together in New York City with me. I am one of the luckiest guys. I have managed to assemble some of the world's greatest living actors in the same room at the same time, in no particular order. Let me introduce you if you need an introduction. Jackie Weaver, Hugo Weaving, Richard Roxburgh, and Kate Blanchett. Jackie and, and Hugo and Rox are three of the most respected um, actors that this country has ever produced, both in film and television and on stage. I'm having a great time. I'm just a tiny cog in a big wheel. I'm so lucky to be working with the big kids here. <laughs> the big kids. <laughs> the kids. Yes. The Oscar-nominated <laughs> nanny. They're here for the Sydney Theatre Company's production of Uncle Vanya, but happy to talk about anything, like life on the road with their kids. You sort of get quite bourgeois and conservative about the, your relationship with the children, that they have to be really stable and make everything stable, but you see them backstage. Oh, yeah. And the theatre backstage is the most fantastic place for children to be. Yeah. Because that's really all we do, is and become infantile and play in yeah. the evening. When the idea came up that I might actually take Rafi by myself to New York, I mean, it was absolutely terrifying to me, because, <laughs> the you know, just, just on a general level, guys don't have that kind of, you know, that, that multitasking thing that women are so gifted with and, <laughs> and I'm particularly bad at. Um, so, but then, you know, the, the more I thought about it, the more it just seemed it would be ridiculous to not, you know, give him that opportunity and, of course, he's, you know, he's loved it. Raffi is Richard's five-year-old. Jackie's flying solo. I've been coming to New York since 1972, every year. So that's 40 years of coming to New York. And nowhere in the world does a martini taste like it tastes <laughs> in New York. <laughs> I did a little Googling on you, and I, I was surprised. There's a, I, I, a whole world of sex appeal going on with Richard Roxburgh. And is you, there? Yes, there are a lot of Can ladies out there. That out. I'm just wondering that if they're Google turning thing. up at the stage door. Have you had any particularly interesting encounters with people <clears throat> in the streets of New York? or Women taking the their clothes off. Door? I have not had women taking their clothes off. There are a bunch of guys who sort of hang around oh. for, for variously for, for autographs, but there is sort of particular br brigade mm. of uh, autograph folk. But no, there's been no sort of, listen. You're not Tom Jones. There's pa no <laughs> panties. Out, no panties like so far <laughs> up on the stage. Um, no, there's been nothing thrown so far. And as for hanging out on the streets of New York, well, you know, I'm with my five-year-old boy, so. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so that's my kind of area of focus. Kate's left the carbon tax controversy behind. Strictly business here. I don't think that, that acting for, for me is a soapbox for my belief. I think it's always about starting with the text and the other actors and to layer um, uh, something or one's own perspective on the world on top of a play is to make the play very thin. So what makes them so successful? Well, I don't count myself successful. <laughs> sometimes I think, sometimes I think I'm a hopeless flop. Um, like, a, I think we all live lives of quiet desperation and sometimes <laughs> we feel very successful and sometimes we don't. Uh, she needs that martini. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Jackie uh, Weaver. Yeah. I think you just said it. Yeah, no, I think that, that's it. That said it for me, totally. Mm. Mm. She's terrific, Jackie Weaver, isn't uh, she? They're all gorgeous. Yeah, she's, all gorgeous. She's